reporter Lowell Melser joins us live from Annapolis with more on tonight's big story. Lowell? Yeah, good evening. Certainly a disturbing story, especially from a parent's standpoint. But police tell us that they have arrested 52 year old Cordell Salisbury of Churchton. They have charged him with kidnapping, false imprisonment, assault, and a number of sex offenses. Police say it was just after 3 o'clock Saturday, July 5th, when a 12 year old girl was abducted by 52 year old Cordell Salisbury of Churchton here near Skipper's Lane in Annapolis. It's a very unusual occurrence. Um, and nobody else apparently saw this happen. We didn't receive any other calls until this little girl was able to escape and uh, alert us. Charging documents say the girl was walking in the area when Salisbury pulled up to her in his vehicle and asked if she was okay. He then drove away and the girl kept walking. It was then police say that he grabbed her from behind. He grabbed her, he um, covered her mouth, and he dragged her into his car. He drove off with her, uh, he attempted to assault her. Um, during that time period, she was she was able to to get away. After that, um, she ran out of the car and was able to alert police. Court documents say Salisbury tried numerous times to sexually assault the girl and that she slapped him in the face. She was eventually able to escape from Salisbury's vehicle in the 1100 block of Bell Drive, where the victim called police. When police arrived, they went to the scene of the crime and found Salisbury's vehicle, but he was missing. They were eventually able to find him staying at a house in the 100 block of Brightwater Drive. Police are calling this a random crime and say Salisbury does not have a history of these types of crimes. There was no prior relationship between this girl and, and uh, Salisbury. Uh, there's no indication that they knew each other at all. Um, and he is not uh, right now a registered sex offender. Now, Salisbury did have a bail review here in Annapolis earlier this afternoon. He was denied bail. Police are still looking for additional information in this case. Anyone with anything to add should call the Annapolis to Police Department. That number is 410 268 9000. We're live in Annapolis tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WPAL TV 11 News. Lowell, thanks.